Away from that story, the ongoing insecurity in a Boeing state has raised concerns for the Civil Society Committee for Anti-Fraud Election Security. As they hold a critical press conference with the media in Abuja, worried over the security tensions in the state and the consequences on the safety and credibility of the 2023 gubernatorial poll across the Southeast region, Comrade Kennedy Yire, the national convener accused Governor Eboin State, Dave Umahi, of political intimidation. Iyere, a legend threat to life, says Ibubayagu was not created to run regional network but anti-people in Eboin State. We, as members of the Civil Society Committee for Anti-Fraud Election Security, CISCAIS, have considered it necessary to raise an alarm because of what the governor of a boy state, Dev Umai, is doing. By using insecurity and security tensions as his own tools of political intimidation, driven by his own desperate desire to impose a successor of his own choice on the state and people of a boy. Precisely three weeks ago, I got attacked in a Boeing state by the militia he recruited. He named Ebubiago, which has terrorized and harassed the hell out of the people of a Boeing state, telling me that the governor of a Boeing state did not want someone like me in a Boeing state, a man on, of, of my kind, of my type, who was on a humanitarian mission to make peace just because he had already nurtured that habit of intimidating his own people by using the Ebubiago militias. We want to make known to the Nigerian state, to the Nigerian nation, and the Nigerian people that as we speak, the governor of Ebo instead has recruited armed political militias from Kogi State in connivance with his own Kogi counterpart, who is notorious for such act, Ami Yayabelu. They have also hired some from the neighboring Niger Dera states. And what we know that they have been alleged to be doing now is to impersonate men of the forces. These people, they use government vehicles that are unmarked, but they are militants. The Civil Society Committee for Anti-Fraud Election Security therefore calls on President Buhari, Inspector General of Police and a National Security Advisor to swiftly investigate the allegations against the Eboin State Governor in a bid to avoid terrorism in the state and Nigeria at large. Mine is driven by his own desire to ensure that by hook or by crook, he rings the election to favor himself and the candidate that he has chosen, and we are saying no. This is why we are calling right now on the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to look into a boy state critically. We are also calling on the Inspector General of Police to look into a boy state critically, then as well as the National Security Advisor to look into that state critically so that we could all make concerted effort to stop Umayi from doing or going ahead with what he's already doing. Because if he's not stopped, we're going to have something worse than we expected. Because after he might have used all the powers within him to rig the election, then what happens to those ammunition and arms and those weapons he has left in the hands of the wrong people? Will he, as a senator, return to Abuja, why he becomes the emperor of, 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 of the government of, of a boy state, and then the same act of gangsterism continues, what happened? And if we are not careful, the worst species of terrorism might just come out of that boy state. This is why we need to stop him. If he's not stopped, that state might just be open to anarchy because other people will not fold their hands and watch him do that. And I'm calling on all Eboi people, save and rescue your state right now from the hand of one man.